So what do you think when you look back at, at that? Crazy. You know, honestly, looking back now, and obviously I'm in a different place, it's like, it's been so up and down, and I totally understand why people think it's a big joke, you know, because it hasn't been good, and mm. the whole tweet and delete thing, I think that we invented, like, wasn't funny. But obviously there was an underlying issue there with the drugs, and I've come on today to support Jeremy and doing this on his behalf and got his consent, and just to try and put everything straight a little bit, because to the public it seemed an absolute joke mm. and, and, and not good and everyone's calling us toxic but obviously I wasn't saying anything and he wasn't because at the time he was like in denial with it and didn't think he had a problem but you know, it was, well, it was I an think underlying big thing there. Definitely from both sides. I mean, you, the, the, there is there is equal blame. On, oh my God! On, yeah, I am not perfect. Sides. Like I couldn't sit on the sofa, to fit, like you know, speak about Jeremy and say that I've been an angel because I've not. And mm. that's being honest. Like I've done things that I regret. I've not been perfect. There's been other stuff going on behind closed doors, but. I'm a firm believer is like what's done is done and it's in the past now and I can't change any of that and I don't want to live in the problem, I want to live in the solution. Do you regret the fact that, because for a lot of people what's done is done and you know, think right okay, let, let, we're in a different place now, let's move on. Yeah. But the thing is that so much of your stuff left a trail of online debris that it's quite hard to get away from it. Yeah but I could sit there all day and be like oh well he said she said and I did that tweet but what am I going to gain by worrying about it? Mm. What's that going to cause more and more stress to me? What we can say is that he is um, being cared for uh, to look out to, 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 to help uh, rid him of his demons. Yeah, I'm really proud of him because it's been a long time coming. You know, obviously it, it's hard to, for everyone to listen to after everything that's happened, but mm. I love him. And when you love someone and you're in a relationship, obviously it's been on a different scale because our relationships in the public eye, it's not like it's, you know, normal and no one really knows and we haven't helped ourselves. Like I'll hold my hands up to that and I've not been perfect, but Jeremy, um, has finally admitted that, you know, he did need help with that. And that was like, mm. God, it, I cried for hours because it was like a weight off my shoulders because I was slowly watching the man that I love kill himself in front of me and I was helpless to stop it. There was nothing I could do. And I'm so proud now, I can't tell you, for Caben that he's, you know, he's sorting his life out. I'm really, really proud of him. So are you, bit. as you sit here right now, are you together, are you two together? Yeah. So you're yeah. together and, and just working it out and hoping that you can yeah. build a future together? Yeah, like I can't, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say this is going to happen, this is going to happen, of course, I love him, he's the love of my life and I can't see what's going to happen in a year time, five years time, ten years time. Right now we're taking it day by day, you know, he wants to be a good dad to Caben. What people don't understand, I don't know that you know people with addictions or you've had that, like in, in your family members, it's really, really hard. So. The people with addiction, you know, it's either everything's great in my life, I'm so happy, or I can't deal with this, I want to die. There's no really grey area. And, mm. like, Jez was like, I've not got a problem. I know what the problem is. And it was... I can't tell yet. Like, it does get me, and I, uh, it, because there's no... You can't help someone so they want to help themselves. Mm. So it was a vicious circle, and it was going round and round. But, he, you know, I can't... I love him, and he's doing the right thing now, and I know it might seem a joke to everyone. And believe me, I'm sick of seeing myself in the paper. I'm sick of seeing it online. No, if I had my way, I wouldn't want that. I'm as, I agree with everyone that's saying I'm bored of seeing it. I am bored, too. A lot of it isn't true. Mm. But all I can do is say, you know, when you love someone, you stand by them through the good times and the bad. I'm not going to leave him because, you know, what he's done's wrong, but he's not a bad person. So yeah. is the, yeah. is, was that the reason for the letter? Because I know you were cross with me um, uh, because he, he uh, came on here and there was this whole... him denying in one interview yeah. that he was the father, then him mm. saying, well, if he was the father, he would be a very good father, 100%, mm. 110%, he said. Um, and, then, and then I saw the letter from you, you guys, your citizens, yeah. your management team, um, and we can't disclose what was in that letter, but I looked at it and I said, that's not fair. Yeah, but I, I to be honest, and I'm just saying this honestly, I thought you were a bit biased with what happened in that interview because there was a certain element that you know what it's like to be a mum, and I didn't feel like there was anyone sticking up for me type thing and with the letter I also did say you know he could make amends and that never got read out like I always said well, you I could make whatever amends I couldn't read the letter I said, out, but what I looked at was yeah. the terms of that it was letter. out of order maybe at the time but you've got to think I just had a newborn baby I had the worst pregnancy yeah, in the world yeah, yeah. my son was in the special but care you had a unit sensible team behind you no they, I know they, they but I was dealing with this myself because I was sick of everything going on so right. I did it with my solicitor I didn't really read over so it you myself think it was harsh yeah, no person would sign that, and I know that now. But at the time, I was so angry because 
you know, from my point of view, I carried a baby alone for nine months yeah. and I felt like there he was demanding it at the time. Now we spoke, I understand, obviously he wanted to be a great father to Caben, but for me, I wanted to keep Caben out of that. I didn't want him, I knew he was the father, so I didn't want him growing up thinking, you know, my dad didn't think mm. I was his and for the whole public to know. Hello. Hello. Oh, he's got your blue eyes. <laughs> Look at you. I think you. he's got Jez's eyes. Hello. Hello, little man. Hi. You're a bit cute, aren't you? <laughs> and so, and so oh, providing well that the difficulties which you've mentioned can be overcome... Yeah, of then course. ..then a family, you're thinking of more children? You, you, you... Yeah, like, I never say never, and, you know, I, of course I want more. Like, I love Jess. Like, I think that's plain to see. Like, everyone watched us fall in love, and that was me genuinely falling in love with him, and I'm proud of him. And do you know what? I take my hat off to him, because to admit that you have got a problem and to go and do something about it, that takes guts. Mm. Mm. You know, he's gone to get help, and already speaking to him... He said hi today, by the way. I spoke oh, to him on the phone, but already speaking to him, there's such a difference, and, you know, it breaks my heart, too, because the drug addiction for Jez, this is how we said it on the phone, that was just the tip of the iceberg. It was what was underneath the water, all that stuff from when he was younger and all them troubles that he's had to kind of basically get broken down to rebuild himself back up. But his priority is to be a good dad for Caben. And, and I love him, so what I'll be, you can't blame me for wanting to keep my family together. And, and you know, everyone makes mistakes. He, he deserves a second chance. He's only human. It's just unfortunate that we haven't helped ourselves and it's been in the public eye.